airport and Tasha, James, Izzy, Heath, Melody, Arthur, and Grandma Connie, my mother, they're all going on Alaskan Airlines back to California. And it's just amazing because it's been so long since the 70s when we were here and then in the 80s and 81 and 87. And uh, here it's 2018 and we're still having fun, healthy fun. And everybody's healthy. Nobody has cancer. No one has any serious illnesses except for age. And it's just amazing. So there they go. They're going in the check-in. And I'm going to go over here and just park for a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me and bless me. I'm going to go down here and park a little bit. And make sure that uh, they haven't forgot anything. That's what I'm going to do. And they left me some water. Thank you, guys. I don't know who bought that. Maybe you did, Melody. And... Uh, well, I don't know what you guys are doing out there. Whoever's watching this, you know, anyone could be watching this around the world from any country. But um, life is amazing. And you know why? Because this life is very, very insignificant and short compared to eternity and the vast um, greatness and bigness of everything that the universe has going on it's just I mean I've said that but let me restate it this moment and what we do in this life is to me equally as important I mean it's it's insignificant compared to the big but it's equally as important if that makes sense how can I how can I actually what's going on over here this guy has a flat tire something happened here there's food everywhere He's got a flat tire. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so... Because this this life that we have actually determines what we do. Our choice actually determines... I don't know why I can't get over here. I guess I can up there. They put these things here now. You can't get off into the grass like you used to be able to. Hmm. So sad. So I'm going to get over here. stop here yeah we're gonna look at that lava that's a looks like a uh, lava tube so back to what I was saying anyway if you guys are watching from another country or wherever you're at um, I've got about 5,000 or more videos up and about 30 million views several channels and there's one theme that I focus on, and that's healthy fun. I'm talking about fun that is healthy and non-destructive. My son once said on a video, he said, you know, it's what I started thinking, Dad, is that um, so many of the other people that I knew in, in my school and that I know that are my age, um, we don't have anything in common because they're all into smoking, drinking, tattoos, piercings, and sex that's what he said all of which can be very destructive sex emotionally if you're doing it in the realms of marriage and with love and compassion and submissive you know thought of the other person I should say um, you're submissive to their wishes and you're respectful to their wishes you know when you're married that's a special moment but you still need to you don't have any right to your husband or wife it's not like you own them. You have to still love them and give them the choice. But uh, it's just it's just interesting. Our choices make a difference, and everything we do makes a difference. So what I will say at the end here is that it's all wonderful, and life is incredibly great because of God. Because of God. God, you know, you can use G-O-D. You can use another word in your language, but basically the one who created everything he created our brains and left out the ability to even comprehend or understand him but he put within us a seed he planted a seed and through his son who died on the cross who 
who we know as Jesus, he has given us a spark of something we, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's faith, Hebrews 11. We, we know that God exists because we see and we feel and we, we experience him working in our lives. And those of you who know God, who know Jesus, you understand what I'm talking about. There's no religion on the planet except the belief in our Savior who died on the cross that can take a criminal, a hardened criminal killer to their knees to tears and literally break them down to where they are so weak in in earthly realms but so strong in a heavenly ground to where they could go from being outraged and enraged to kill someone to where suddenly in their mind they are ready to give their life for someone they don't even know. God does that through Jesus. And if you want to experience that kind of a transformation in your own character and life, just right now, just say with me, Dear Father in heaven, dear Jesus, I give you my heart, I give you my soul right now. I give it to you. I am yours. Please accept me and forgive me for my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it. And just see, do that every day, but do it right now. And let God show you through his goodness what he can do for you when you do that. It's not the religion that saves you. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's God, the one who created you. Call it whatever you want. Uh, the author and finisher of your faith. That's it. God bless and take care and uh, protect, Lord, protect my family as they travel. In Jesus' name, amen.